pads today? How did it all go for you? I thought it went really well. Uh, I thought our kids played hard. They competed. Uh, I thought we took care of the football a little bit better on offense. You know, there's still a couple picks there, but it was a physical practice. Our uh, running backs ran hard. Uh, again, the D-line was very physical in the run game and a pass pro, but I thought all in all our kids played physical for our first day of practice. It seems like it wasn't a whole lot different, though, in terms of the physical nature from the first two practices. It really wasn't. That's what we want. You know, the, the goal is it doesn't matter what type of gear we have on, we still play fast and we still play physical. The key is all of a sudden you put full pads on, you have a tendency to go to the ground a little bit more. So you probably, you know, the, the goal for us is to stay up, but our, that our speed and our tempo doesn't change no matter what gear we're in. Who won the, the team? Well, that was a second and seven competition. When it came down last play, the defense won right there on, the, on that ball contested on the sidelines. But um, again, like like on uh, like on Saturday, where I thought the defense really got after the offense for the majority of the practice. You know, got to go look at the film, and I felt like our offense really came back and had a nice practice. Here. I thought they, uh, the quarterbacks were more efficient with the football. I thought we ran the ball with more consistency. Um, and I just thought all in all the offense made more plays today, but what made us be seeing that to the film. When you, when you have these team competitions that are going right down to the final play, is that, is that all kind of what you're looking for, that there's a lot of give and take, or are you looking for one side to really No, I, I, want, I want there to be give and take. I want teams to be able I want one side of the ball to battle back, to their pride to kick in. And I, do, I want our guys accustomed to playing in tight situations, and that there's something on the line, something matters, and they need to go out and execute really well on, on those, those critical snaps. Look like Chris Bicky was running with the ones a lot today. I mean, is that just a sign of how he's been playing so far? Yeah, he's playing well. Um, you know, unfortunately for us, we really only have two tight ends yeah. going right now, and so we have to do a nice job of monitoring their, their reps and because it's a long practice, and when they're going that much, you know, we're trying to take a little heat off of Cavario. He's a little bit ill there on Saturday. We're just trying to get him healthy. So, um, But I like the way Cavario rebounded today, and I just continue to like what his Bicky's doing. Chris Paul, did he do much of that today? No, he didn't. He, Chris, we didn't even bring him out to practice. He got hit in the leg there on Saturday, and that's a really pretty good swelling around his shin, and we want to keep him off his feet. So we didn't even bring him out today. Uh, hopefully we get him back later in the week. How about DeAndre? It looked like maybe a hamstring. He's got a little tight hammy, and again, we've got some young receivers we want to look at, so instead of trying to worsen it and push him through it, we just held him out. Um, I don't know what I'm sorry, but on Saturday we had asked you a little our kids are physical. You know, it's exactly what I thought from from Saturday. These kids are not afraid. And although they may not be the biggest in stature, they, they put their head in there and pass protection. They put their head in there when they're running the ball. They're not afraid, and uh, they're not afraid as a group. There's not a guy in there that's timid. Uh, I'm proud of them that way. I, I'm, again, I'm anxious to watch them come back again today to see if they cleaned up some of the technique things and pass protection. Uh, but I thought they all ran the ball really well again today. You mentioned Chris Polk. That doesn't tell anything long term. Just no, I, I think it was something that you can get swelling down there in the lower half of your leg that you got to be careful with, mm -hmm. as, as we've seen in the past with some other injuries, not so much here but around the country. So we just want to keep him off his feet and, and reduce that swelling before we get him back at her on the turf. Probably Wednesday or too early? Tonight. We'll see. We'll, we'll see. A couple of years ago when you were having a pair of base this defense, what did you see from you, Jason Mann? Playmaker. Guy that really flew around, got to the football, uh, created havoc, instinctive, uh, and I think he's bringing those same things out today. I was proud of EJ today. You know, he's not 100%. That ankle's still bothering him, but he came out and battled and competed today, so I was really proud of him. What was the theme to the coach? Uh, this was Competition Monday. It wasn't Tell the Truth Monday? No, no, Competition Monday. Tell the Truth Monday, I'll be next Monday. <laughs> <laughs> And just who about standout players? Anybody else? Well, I thought Jake got a lot better today. Uh, I thought he was more accurate with the football. He was a little more relaxed in the pocket. Uh, you know, there's still a couple plays in there where he's still learning what we're doing. But uh, I thought he was just more efficient uh, from a quarterback standpoint. And then obviously he used his legs a couple times today that, to get out and, and make and create some havoc for the defense. But I thought he was more efficient. Um, Daniel Taylor National just he continues to excel. Um, Nate Williams again showed up. Um, I feel like Brandon Johnson and Curtis Shaw just from first thoughts and from the running back spot did some nice things. So uh, we'll see. We're we'll, we'll keep looking. With uh, with Marquise Persley, was that because of, of Matt Mosley having an yeah, issue? Yeah, Matt, Matt Mosley was a little dinged up from last practice. So we just gave Marquise his shot. And I think he did a nice job. We'll have to look at the film. Um, 
you know, I like, I'm liking what Schaefer and Heaven are doing too at the tackle spot for us right now. And what about um, Anthony Goburn as far as that group of freshmen that are, you know, it looked like he kind of ran in that extra DB? Yeah, we put him in the nickel spot and um, obviously with Bonzel and, and Mosley out. And you just got to look at it, you know, so from, the, from the, the eye on the field, it seemed fine. I don't know, how, you know if he made a whole bunch of plays in the ball. It's probably new to him being in the slot. So uh, he's the type of athlete that should be able to function well there. We just got to take a look at it. It helped mold me in the offseason. I came in, I came in bigger, but I wasn't out of shape. You know, there's a difference. I mean, and me, I'm a, I'm a guy who, who got a weak stomach. So anytime we got a tough run or anything, I usually puke. And so I mean, I came back this this any team runs or anything, and I was not puking at all. I was in perfect shape. What were you doing? Just I mean, I mean, he he. I was working out with him three days a week, and then I worked out with my uh, a couple guys um, that are do kind of like arena league. Couple friends from high school and everything, and so we had that uh, the, in the weight room every Tuesday and Thursday. So I mean, I was working out pretty much six days a week. Did you ever get to the point of thinking about following what Jr. did and, and going to a smaller school where you could have played right away? Nah, because I, I love competition. You know, what I mean, that wouldn't have given me too much competition, and, and so I mean, I, I don't know. I, I don't really think I, I ever considered that route. Feeling good today? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not 100 right now, but I'm feeling better than I was on Saturday. So, so he saw me out there. Is that normal stuff, or do you think some of that is just kind of getting back into the sweet intensity of playing football? What, what do you mean? With the injuries, do you think it's something that would happen normally? Or? Uh, I mean, this. I mean, the injury I got. I mean, it. it, it you would usually like take a couple of days off, you know, and everything, like I did. But it's something I'm just gonna have to get play with, and, and I'll, it'll get better. But it's just gonna take a little time. Get my lip out there. <laughs> Are the practices uh, more physical Definitely. under this regime? I mean, there was guys coming off the field, and we had no pads, talking about their necks hurt <laughs> and everything. But this football, yeah, I love that. What's Coach um, uh, Cox like working for? He's intense. He's intense. I mean, he, he's, he's the type of guy that's going to get on your ass if you mess up. But at the same time, I, I think it's necessary, especially in the linebacker's position, because, I mean, you make a mistake, they're gone for 60. So, I mean, he, I mean he's intense, but it, it's on things that need to be corrected. So, I kind of accept it. <laughs> is, is intensity kind of the biggest change from the previous group to this one? Definitely practice intensity has definitely increased. I think that's the biggest change. Uh, there was a couple guys in the locker room talking about, you know, the game, the practices feel like games, you know, you got to get ready. You know what I mean? That's why I think we get two days off in between. Because <laughs> we go at it. <laughs> PJ, is there anything different, like, with the coaching staff in terms of what you perceive them to be? And how they've actually been out on the field. Um, I don't really think so. I mean, because we we, perce we perceive them to be guys that come in and get us hyped up and everything, and that's how they are out on the field. So I mean, they are what you see they are. But, I mean, it, it's just real. I mean, they're real good guys. I mean, and, and they and you can see it on the field. You know, with them, like they you can tell they care about us out here and everything. I don't really necessarily call it the hardest part of practice because practice is practice, you know, you got to deal with the period. So I think just running back and forth from that field to this field is probably, that's the thing that wears on you because, I mean, you run, you run from, you know, going full speed on the drill over there and you sprint over here to, to go first one, to start, start off with the ones on this field. So I think that's probably the hardest part is just running back and forth from the field. A couple days been feeling great. Uh, I was kind of kind of scared coming into. Uh, I was kind of worried coming into the spring. Uh, I didn't know how good it would be, but it's kind of kind of turned out good with the help of the trainers and uh, some of the guys that they've worked with back in spring, back on the spring break. So see how they do some different things that really help me increase my growing strength. It seems like you're one of the guys that really feeds off the idea of 
you have contact, and I mean, you, you kind of have a reputation of being a guy who enjoys the contact. Is this the day, the first full patch practice of spring? Is this the day you circle and say, okay, this is the day I'm shooting for? Well, absolutely. I, I think we kind of started that even with no, no pads on, yeah. uh, the whole mentality of uh, running, hitting, being tenacious defense. You know, coach, coach holding all the, all the coaches around, they bring that, they bring that, uh, that energy to the, to the defense, and it's great. It, you know, it gave, gave us the, uh, the possibility, the power just to run around here where we want to hit. They give us the confidence to do that. They don't, nobody holds us back, so we all, nobody's on the leash, so we all just flying to the ball. No 